Hey, this is Jeff Carrett, founder of SEO. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about business ideas, right? So business ideas, a lot of people are doing it wrong and I think it's important to really go in with the right mindset and with the right idea. Now, when you're just getting started with your business, um, I think it, the easiest way to get started is just to do like a service business with something you're good at. But what a lot of people do wrong is they try to apply it to too many types of um, people or if you're doing business to business services such as web design or digital marketing or accounting uh, services for businesses, um, you try to apply it to too many different types of people. And uh, if you want any chance of scaling and growing your company, I think it makes sense to get a solution in place and pre-produce a solution that's gonna be repeatable that you can use for a bunch of different types of businesses in the same industry. So instead of just offering a service, I recommend offering a solution, but not just any solution. It's gotta be a solution for a specific type of problem that you have. I think it makes a lot of sense to go after a problem that you have a lot of passion or some kind of stake in solving. So you don't just wanna go in and say like, all right, well, I do web design for businesses. <sighs> you know, it's just one of those things where you're gonna you're gonna come across so many different types of businesses and um, each, each one is gonna have, especially if you're working in your local area, you're not gonna work with competitors so much in your local area. For example, two different air conditioning repair companies, HVAC. You you know, it's just gonna be one of those things like, well, I, I kind of don't want to help you because I'm already helping this other company. Um, I recommend picking one type of company and helping them all across the world, or I'm sorry, all across the country. So where two of your clients don't necessarily have um, direct comp competitorship with one another. So anyway, I recommend going after the problem. So what is the problem that you think you can solve? Like that thing that you're good at, what is the actual problem that it solves, right? So if it's web design, well, a lot of time, you know, web design by itself isn't necessarily going to get a, a, a business business more customers. Let's just take air conditioner repair, for example. Air conditioner repair, you know, if somebody doesn't have any website traffic, redesigning their website probably isn't going to do a whole lot for them, right? So um, maybe what they need is um, digital, let's just say they need pay-per-click or Facebook ads or maybe lead generation from LinkedIn or cold email or something like that. And of course, this is going to depend on the industry and their current situation and the type of people that you help in that particular industry. So my point is fall in love with the problem that you want to solve, obsess about the problem that you want to solve for a certain type of customer that's repeatable. So this is actually going to be hard if you just want to stay in your local area. It's going to be really hard to do this, uh, even impossible, just because you're going to be having, if you try to do this in your local area, the, you know, your, your clients are going to be competing with one another. They may not want to hire you for that reason. But if you just did AC repair companies all across the entire country, well, you could have the exact same solution for all of them. So essentially, if the number one problem for the, let's just say it's one to five person air condition repair companies, you solve that for one air condition repair company, uh, and then you refine it with the next few, you've got something that has a, uh, you've got a solution for their problem, which is they want more customers without relying on word of mouth and referrals. You've got a solution that has an extremely high chance of probability for all of the different AC repair companies across the country. And um, you're also going to have some really good relevant case studies. Um, you're going to seem like the least risky option when somebody uh, wants to take a gamble on somebody they don't really have a relationship with, which is what anybody does when they hire you. They're going to have a high chance of success and uh, you're going to be the easy option because you're a specialist in uh, solving the problem that they have for the type of company that they are. So that's going to help you stand out tremendously. So um, instead of what a lot of people are doing wrong is they're just saying, hey, I'm good at web design. I'm going to start a web design company. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where web design by itself, to have a company, a situation where a web design, a new web design by itself is going to be really important for them and move the needle for them is probably a company that, that already has some successful marketing going on. So I recommend if you're going to be a web design specialist, I would go after uh, very successful companies who already have marketing that is working and maybe you could create a new and by creating a new and like maybe they're sending a lot of uh, they have a lot of marketing campaigns running to their horrible website well in that case yes increasing their improving their website will be a massive um, improvement to their bottom line to their marketing and to their business so hopefully that makes sense let me know of any questions down below and I'll check you soon